Hello everyone, welcome to this new content of examination solution and I'm going to discuss about this one, YOS, which is the internationally recognized like the entrance exam to most Turkish universities. So, Yabantu Yuruklu Orinci Sanava, I don't know if that's the right pronunciation. Anyway, so this is like the examination for foreign or overseas students. And of course, I have seen that maybe, maybe, the YOS exam between universities in Turkey, right? Because this is in, uh, I took it from Istanbul University, and it maybe have a difference with other universities. For example, Ankara University may have the different question with Istanbul and any other universities. So maybe uh, the range of the questions, like the pointers of what kind of question will be out for this test, basic learning skills test, may be the same right because mathematics probably they test like the basic mathematics from system of equation geometry trigonometry and other questions and the unique of this test is that it is actually translated into other language right uh, you can see that there's a turkish language english arab language then france russian and german anyway in this YOS exam 2019 of YOS from Istanbul University we have 80 question in part A so let's just you know divide this part into multiple parts so that so that this this the solution would be comfortable for me to discuss anyway let's go for number one AX minus BX minus BY plus AY equals 12 and x y plus equals 8 so what is a minus b okay so we just uh, try to factorize this this equation right here so that would be a minus b x minus uh, plus y a minus b equals 12 so because they, they have the same factorization we could group that together and we know that x plus y is 8 and it's equal 12 so a minus b is 12 over 8 now if you simplify that it will become 3 over 2 okay now for number 2 they say x is greater than 0 x equals y minus 1 equals z minus 2 and x y z is 21 of x plus y plus z and they ask what is x multiplied by z now for this kind of equation we could you know substitute one of these variables into one common variable so let's just uh, assume the x variable and the z variable into one common y variable you can see that x we could substitute with y minus 1 right and we could substitute z because y minus 1 is z minus 2 we could make z is y plus 1 so basically we have y uh, y minus 1 right y minus 1 y and y plus 1 it is 21 we could change that into y minus 1 plus y plus y plus 1 okay so this is uh, y squared minus 1 times y right 21 this is 0 that is 3y and we could substitute that uh, and then we got y minus y squared minus 1 is 63 and y squared is 64 so y equals 8 so we got just now x is uh, y minus 1 so x is 7 and y is sorry z is y plus 1 is 9 okay so x z is 63 so the answer is d by the way there's actually an answer key too i will provide the link of the uh, solution I mean the answer key in the description uh, um, unfortunately they didn't provide the video solution so I provide it okay for number three now there's a composition function f of gx equals x squared plus x plus 8 and fx minus 1 is x minus 6 they ask what is g 0 okay so for this equation we should change this into fx 
the way to do that is make x1 x minus 1 I mean whatever inside this equal to y so x is y plus 1 so basically now we have f x is uh, f x is y plus 1 and then we just change this into x plus 1 so basically from this f x is substitute this with x plus 1 minus 6 so f x is x minus 5 so this one become this one in the fx right now gx is substitute into fx to get this equation so basically f o g x is just gx minus 5 equals x squared plus x plus 8 right so gx is x squared plus x plus 13 and they asked about g0 so g0 is 13 and you can see the answer inside is a Okay, so now number four, we got some, what we call an imaginary, imaginary number. Because it is said about root of minus one. We know that it's an imaginary number. And we just want to calculate what is i plus one, one plus i to the power of three. And then one plus i to the power of three minus 1 minus i squared 1 minus i squared equals what and you should remember that i squared is minus 1 i to the power of 3 is actually minus i okay and we could you know substitute that i mean we can try to expand this first okay so 1 plus 3 times 1 squared times i plus 3 times 1 times i squared which is minus 1 minus i and this is 1 plus 4i plus 3i minus 3 minus i so that is 2i minus 2 times 1 plus i third with i to the power of 3 we could just change that into minus i okay so this one is this one okay and now we calculate this one 1 minus i squared which is uh, 1 squared minus 2 times 1 times i plus i squared which is 1 minus 2i minus 1 so that is minus 2i okay so we just make tidy tidy up this equation here so everything here is equal to 2i minus 2 1 minus i uh, and then minus minus 2i 1 minus i squared and we know that i squared is minus 1 right so this is become 2 so that is 2i um, 2i minus 2i squared which is 2 minus 2 plus 2i this is plus 4i so that will become 8i okay so the answer is 8 so this is just you know you can just expand and then uh, multiply each by each in the bracket just remember that i is root of minus 1 if you square it become minus 1 if you multiply if you power it qubit by 3 then the answer is minus i